This just in, Americans too stupid to vote for Ron Paul. At least that's according to a new study just released by the Department of Education. Joining me now live for their reactions are Croc News contributor and senior political analyst Dr. Bill Doolittle and Campaign Liberty member and business owner John Adams. Welcome gentlemen. Thank you, Karen. Delighted to be here. So I'll start with you, Bill. Is it true? Are Americans too stupid to vote for Ron Paul? That appears to be the case, Karen. What we're seeing is a stupid threshold, if you will, that once reached renders Americans impervious to things like rational thought, or what you might call logic. As you know, I sit on the board of the Department of Domestic Ignorance and Pointless Spending Housing Information Team. And we have been studying this phenomenon since back in 2008 when Republicans showed they were too stupid by selecting John McCain and Sarah Palin over Ron Paul. And we have every bit of confidence that the American people will respond the same way in the primaries and or the general election next year. Really? Since 08? Oh yes, Karen. As you know, we're in the business of stupid. And business is a booming. <laughs> Well, Bill, I hate to play devil's advocate here, but there are over a half million members of the Campaign for Liberty. Maybe Americans aren't as stupid as we hoped. There's That's no right, Karen. Uh, as you know... John, John, you'll get your chance in a minute. Right. As I was saying, there's no way, Karen. The data clearly shows that since we've socialized, I mean nationalized, healthcare, education, labor, and a myriad of other government programs, fraud, waste, and inefficiency have increased exponentially to the point where there's really no danger in ever having them cut. Because Americans are too stupid to cut them. And this translates directly to the elections. It's really a beautiful cycle. System. Whatever. A half a million does seem like a drop in the bucket, eh, John? No, Karen, it's not a drop in the bucket. Obviously, since socializing medicine, education, what have you, it's true, America has taken a hit on the intelligence scale. But I think it's temporary, and I think when people wise up, Ron Paul not only stands a chance, I think he could win the presidency. <laughs> <laughs> Next, he'll be telling us that the Federal Reserve should be audited. <laughs> the Federal Reserve should be audited. <laughs> then who will devalue the currency, Congress? <laughs> <laughs> no one should be able to devalue the currency, but that's another matter. This is about freedom and the Constitution, and about a country that needs to decide what the role of government ought to be before it's too late. Look, John, I know that you've read the Constitution, and that you're a business owner. But scholars maintain that the word Constitution literally translates into old list of suggestions that doesn't really apply anymore. No, it doesn't. Look, sweetie, it's just not gonna happen. We've got a bipartisan media blackout on this guy, and we all know Americans are too stupid to do their own research. <laughs> You're wrong, Karen. People are waking up to the fact that we're broke and have stretched ourselves too thin for a global empire and welfare state. And despite your blackout, Ron Paul's YouTube videos are the most watched of any candidate. The American people know that something isn't right. I believe that America is the greatest nation that the world has ever known. Well, and I believe that American John, people will wake up John, and that liberty will Mr. overcome Mr. Adams, the end. agree to disagree. Gentlemen, that's all the time we have. Don't go away. Up next, new unrest in the Middle East. <laughs> what are they complaining about now? <laughs> we'll have more after the break.